Yes, sir. Whatever the game calls for, I have to step up and make the play. Coach Tune told me that. When I get overshot, I got to knock it down. You know, down some men, they're going to you know, try to take away Bell and Luck a lot. So that's the opening games up for me. Cargo, can you talk about how big it was for Kayvon to make the free throw? Um, you know, it was big. He hasn't been um, a very confident, consistent free throw shooter. Um, he just hasn't had much confidence, you know, at the free throw line. Um, but you seen today, he, he just played free. And you can see it even at the line. He told us before he walked to the line that he was going to make them. And, um, you know, you don't hear that out of him much. So, you know, I feel like we've seen him maturing. Um, we've grown up a little bit. And, and happy birthday to our young. Continue to sit and tell, tell ourselves that uh, we have a lot, of, a lot of fight in us. And even though people keep down us, even with the people that we have on our team, we still gonna get the job done. You know, it takes five. It takes five versus five, and uh, we. I think we did a good job with our five coming out with the win tonight. And the way, from having eight guys, you have you all gotten that kind of sense that uh, that, uh, that just with the knee number being so low and with that kind of adversity, do you, you guys feel like it's kind of brought the best out of you all? Yeah, I think. That's brought us together tremendously. Like we 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 know what's going on on campus and us losing our players. We just stick together, you know. With the eight guys we got, we're gonna go to war no matter what. It's gonna be. And um, you know, I'm sure with Lucky sits down at Thanksgiving, he wants to have you know bragging rights over over Marriott. That uh, the free throw that the Tate hit that almost hit the top of the backboard and went in. Pretty much what, what you know, rep the game. You said he had been in a situation like that for a long time. Did you breathe a sigh of relief when I went in? You could say that. Because um, <laughs> after the first one, I didn't know what the second one was going to look like. Um, and so I definitely breathed a sigh of relief. But as crazy as it sounds, we preach to our guys all the time about basketball gods and how if you respect the game, if you do the right things, if you give the proper amount of effort, you give yourself the best chance to be successful. And uh, I'm not the most religious person, but I believe in the basketball gods. And they might have been with us on that occasion just because of the effort and the respect that our guys gave over a 40-minute period. You know, a lot of guys know each other. Lucky and Mario Moody are cousins. Lucky grew up next door to Kenny Ortiz. You know, Kayvon Stewart went to the same high school as Marquise Webb, their assistant. I mean, there's so many kind of entangling alliances that, that you know, with our Northeast guys and their Northeast guys. Um, and they have really good, talented teams who play hard, you know. Um, it wasn't always the case when I got here that, you know, there was a couple of years where there wasn't much of a rivalry. You know, our first year here, you know, they, we beat them basically for the regular season championship. And then the next two years after that, there wasn't a whole lot going on. And then they had a coaching change. And since then, you know, both teams compete, play hard. And um, I think, you know, both teams get up and excited to play against each other because they know what kind of game it's going to be.